Hello, survivors of the apocalypse. Welcome back to Atom RPG and playing hardball. We have a car. It is a beautiful Soviet Guts 20. Let's start the engine and set out on the journey. Let's see how that actually works. <coughs> so the trunk is full of stuff. Oh, that's cool. That's actually pretty fun. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Let's drive there, like so. Okay, that's a quick one. So let's drive to Red Fighter. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. So, the trunk is full of stuff. Look at this. We've got so much merchandise now. Ten steel breastplates. Yes, you see correctly. <coughs> Excuse me. 228 scrap metal, 9 leather breastplates, 103 logs, 139 pieces of tire, and we've got 72 waste papers for the journalists. And yeah, some more stuff here. That's really a lot of stuff, huh? That is really a lot of stuff. I'm not sure, this is like 870 kilograms now on the trunk. I'm not sure how, how much we can actually uh, put there. Oh, what's this? Rabbits are also terrible soldiers. Barbarians bully sodomites on the torch. Oh, the torture or the mass mutilation. Hmm. Can we actually automatically put something from the trunk into our stuff here? I guess not, huh? No, we can't. Okay, well, that would be actually a better thing. Okay, well, so I guess... We'll just open the gas tank. 8.2 liters, okay. Let's open the trunk. Yeah, so I guess... Ah, uh, uh, now we have to carry everything around. Oh, come on. So how much can you take? It's too much. Oh, come on. Now every I have to... Do everything manually. Like 20. Let's have 8 more. And Fidel. Okay, well, so guys, actually, I think we are not doing this one on camera. Maybe this, this stuff. <coughs> uh, and this here. Like anything that is actually worth a lot. Gasoline. Oh yeah, well, actually we could keep some gasoline in there. Mm. Yeah, and basically this is all our merchandise. This here. Oh, by the way, we need to check out uh, the... The cornfield. This stuff here. Found a lot of toilet paper, by the way. <coughs> As you can see, there were four grenades. So, the guys that we were looting, that were fighting, they had quite some more grenades. The thing, the whole th situation could have been way more nasty, actually, than it was. Scrap metal. Yeah, already carried around some stuff here. There we go, more scrap metal. The ropes. And then we put all the gear that we need for crafting in here as well. We're just taking with us one cassette of each type. Cognac. Condensed milk, all of them. <coughs> oh, sorry. What am I doing here? This is actually no stuff that belongs in here. So. Um, let's see. 
Got a lot of ammunition here. This one goes there. The nails. Lantern batteries. The electric tape. The toilet paper. And that's that. Then for our weapons locker. We are at 9000 rubles again. for our hunting rifle so that's fine here these custom made grenades here these very interesting oh they, that's the first we got from these 14.5 millimeter armor piercing and incendiary oh wow okay there we go four more grenades armor piercing stuff this here goes in there those shots and there we go we don't have so many bolts left now but now that we have so much scrap metal we can actually make a lot of them oh yeah here so <coughs> let's put 14 in there and then we've got 20 how many metal bolts do we have 12 and we want to keep 20 with us as well right this oh yeah that's uh, for the hunting rifle there are 10 okay well then 10 more I'm doing the crafting another time and here yeah, you can actually put 17 in there 40 shots that's more than enough and 51 okay by the way could it be that we are actually missing a rifle yeah it's fine with that Let's check this one out. Hexogen is fine with these and the pistol, the per percussion uh, revolver. This here uses the 7.62. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, the sniper rifle. Did I actually, like, which one was it? The zip gun round. Did I, did I just do something wrong? Or maybe I put something into the trunk not the pipe one ah yeah okay no I think uh, it's actually in here because there was a uh, yeah, here the custom rifle okay yeah there that's for fetal that was fetal's rifle oh yeah and someone had a custom rifle in there in this huge fortress okay so we do have a lot of hunting rifles are these actually different 713 or they are not yeah well whatever the the reason that's all the same okay then and then are there were there actually other knives there's there are six knives oh wow okay yeah, that's so much stuff. So, hexogen. Oh, by the way, what I like about the game is that, uh, as you know, <coughs> that uh, it is if you if we want to pay money, then it's actually putting the right amount in there. However, it, that doesn't that function doesn't work apparently uh, with items, huh? Because I would have expected that I'm just putting this stuff here. And now we need to run forward, backward and forward a couple of times. But I think I'm not going to do that one on camera either. Uh, but just let's just do this one for the last time. And you're putting the scrap metal there. This one here. Also, I was actually worried that our axis could break or something. Breaking axles. 
So we bring in some meat, uh, some some milk. And do we actually have the the toadstools here? Oh yeah, okay. Well then, maybe all but two. <laughs> we two in, uh, we put in our stash canned meat. Oh well, actually all of them because Fidel is actually carrying our two canned meats, right? Just in case we need it for someone. The beetroot, the vodka, the cheese. You get to keep one water in the glass bottle, so that's fine. And this here is for the rounds. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. And then here... We do have a, really a lot. Cognac. Port wine. We just carry around one, just in case someone wants it. And then we can help the people. Antidote. Yeah, the cheese, for the same reason. Wolf antidote, is it here? No, it's as consumable in our weapon stash. Okay, yeah, potatoes. Let's only keep two. This one here, like so. Yeah, and all our seeds, huh? Closing. Let me just craft a little bit with all these knives there. Sharpening all the knives. Yeah, and actually we can keep the merchandise uh, inside. Come on, get out of the way, guys. So, let's have a look. It's really a lot of stuff. 211 shots with the 7.62, that's fine. SKS rifle. Yeah, that's this one, okay, yeah, that's good. Oh, and by the way, so we could actually use some more ammo. Yeah, 22, so let's take 18. We did a lot of shooting with the hunting rifle, actually. And I think we don't need so many joints. There. Going here. Where do we have the seeds? What's that? Oh, a stick of dynamite. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we've got the cologne. Okay. Got... Yeah. Uh, let's put two more there. <laughs> there were four. Four of them. <coughs> oh, yeah. And the condensed milk. The so hexogen, he's carrying some condensed milk. Right, yeah. Those two. Okay. This here goes to the boss. This here also, all the stuff. Doesn't need that. The welding helmet is minus 10 dodge. Yeah, okay, so even the rusty one is way better. Why do we have the he welding helmet here, actually? Let's put it here. <laughs> in our collection. So there we go. Only around 40. So that's fine. <coughs> Med kit. The beer goes there. Closing. And now Fidel actually uses this here as the first rifle. So, because the shots are cheaper. So, going here. So the big question is what do we do actually? Where are we going? Here are the biscuits. Let's have one, also the sweet roll. 
That's all the food. And this condensed milk. Closing there. So I feel actually the, uh, now that gasoline is also a limited commodity um, that we are actually not driving our car around. Let's just keep it here for the moment. So we are f uh, fine here, right? Yeah. So let's go to our field, our corn field. There, okay. Oh yeah. The corn has grown nicely over here. Oh yeah, and well, we need to use this one here. The seeds there. Let's collect the corn. I wonder if we need uh, corn at some point. And I for totally forgot how many ta days uh, it takes for our technician to do the stuff that we paid him for. <coughs> hey, why, why is that why is that changing back there? So there we go, and then we are putting the seats out again. Okay. Drinking and washing a bit. Okay then. So I already ate some meat uh, before we drove back to the base. I will actually so the trunk. So <coughs> so all of this is basically merchandise except for the scrap metal. Um, and the tins. And all of the stuff. Yeah, and well, actually, let's carry that stuff. Edel can also... Can he actually take everything? No. Obviously not, but maybe 30 or so. And then we can bring all the waste paper to the journalists. The soap. The toolbox, this here, there. This here, the beetroot. Yeah, this, these, uh, the gasoline we, we keep in the trunk, I would say. There, but otherwise, yeah, and this camping hat. But otherwise, everything else. And this one here. The everything else we can sell. This here. So, uh, oh well, let's keep the custom rifle. And maybe one other hunting rifle, huh? But everything else we can really sell. Uh, all the sharpened knives. Yeah. So. So I'm not sure if it makes sense what I'm doing here. Uh, but I feel that we shouldn't waste our gasoline at the moment. There. Which is why I think that we are leaving the car here. At the base. Yeah, no, sorry, like this. Just so we see if we have an option uh, to use the stuff. So, then... Ski hat. For the stealth. The unsalivary thing. Oh no, this one we collected uh, with our other stuff, right? The devil's wheat, 
This stuff here. Yeah, I oh, am yeah, so there. This, and then we are good to go, I would say. Oh no, and sorry, and the salt, right? So, that was a lot <coughs> of uh, management, but yeah, that was a huge haul. Like if we were, and we are of course, true wastelanders, we would throw a grand party now, because uh, our economic situation has significantly increased. It's been, has become way, way better. So, oh, by the way, we should actually milk the cows, huh? Hmm. I forgot about those. So, the weapons here, this one goes there, and then another hunting rifle, right? Is that, that's one? Do we have one here? Oh, yeah, no, of course not. Okay. Hunting rifle goes there. It is loaded, that's good. Then the babushka sh chaff. The scarf, sorry. That goes here. And everything else is actually organic, right? Yeah. Okay then, so this stuff goes here. Okay. Yeah, please write into the comment section if this is actually not interesting. Uh, because then I'm just doing it off camera. But I wanted to I wanted you guys to see how the how the car drive would go. That's the thing. So I oh, no, sorry. Yeah, this one. I wanted to put the helmets here. And this perfume. The perfumes we are also putting with the weapons for some reason. That is not totally clear. So we have one pan for everybody. 13 meat and 12 meat there. Um, and otherwise, oh yeah, the, the alcohol. We don't need so much. This here, the stu super stimulant. Let's have three of those. Antidote. <coughs> we keep two. This here, we have three red eggs. Hmm, yeah. Three med kits, I think that's fine. And then the toolbox. One toolbox goes there. And I think it's okay, right? So, and then our organic stuff, food stuff, and so on. You go here. She goes there as well. We have a lot of beetroots. Lots of corn. Yeah, and then actually, let's only have one potato. So, by the way, so what's our radiation situation? That's fine. Let's go to milk the cows that are always so grateful when we milk them. There. Quick saving in case something goes wrong. She no, okay, she wears the jeans, right? Yeah. Looked like she only has underwear on her. Um, the cows are over there. Right, nice. So, and what are you saying? Our smiling bearded shepherd? Anything new? No, you still don't have any money. Okay, well then. So, time to get going.
But that's good. So I think our economic situation is like really, really better now. And also let's put some other stuff out of uh, out of the trunk. So I'm doing it on camera. But only because we are just running around. So it's basically what, just one more. <coughs> Got 20. Oh, let's have 25, right? Yeah, that's good. Fidel. We also have 25. Or like that. So there we go. And we've got some bricks. Is that okay? Oh, that was already too much. Like this? Oh yeah, okay. And then... There. And we ourselves, we take some wood. There. And some more tires. There. With the rusty TT pistol. Oh yeah, and well, the three barreled handgun, maybe one of them we take for ourselves. And then <coughs> we can actually just uh, sell all the stuff. Well, on the other hand, this year we can actually upgrade, so let's do that at some point. And actually the wooden crossbow we could also upgrade. Because that gives us some experience in this one here. Yeah, we're doing, doing that actually. Yeah, and everything else we can sell. Alright, but that's that. Everything else remains in the trunk. And I'm just looking forward to any caravan coming over. And then we can actually sell out of the trunk of our vehicle, right? So. I wonder if someone would, would steal our car. I hope not. There you go, there you go, there you go, and that one, like one, and the other one we put into our, oh yeah, here, <laughs> we, we put into our um, stash, oh yeah, you had the seven coffees, okay, I forgot about those, and then here, there you go, so, and we have 219 scrap metals now, good, by the way, so how much for the crafting, for the, the steel, of the metal uh, bolts, it's two. Okay, ah, yeah, and actually, ah, yeah. the wire. So here, Fidel, the coffee goes into our stash. How much coffee do we have? Actually, 37, yeah. We could become very rich and very popular. We were just selling all the stuff, so here. Or giving it to people, right? So, but now everything is fine. There we go, and we can actually... Now, oh, come on, guys. You were in the way again. This here goes there. Oh, yeah. We don't have one. We didn't have one. Okay. The one camping head goes there. This here goes there, right? And how many do we have? I have no idea. Four. Only four? Why? Or is, are there several stacks oh, where do we have them hmm it's a bit weird i thought we had way more medals and then one wolf antidote oh yeah here there there are four of them okay all right so i think we are done here that's good and then we can actually go exploring a bit more there is some milk to be put here though so there We keep three milk. And I guess at some point we are having some yogurt over there. Yeah, and actually I feel... <coughs> Let us uh, have... Do we have a frying pan in here? No, oh, yeah, okay. And that was the reason why I have this one here, because it's so heavy. I mean, it's not so bad because it uh, has the damage threshold and stuff. But I think we are we are uh, pretty okay now with the ghostly protection. Oh, and by the way, we got a level with uh, 
Hexogen. So he can, he scotched martial arts for the uh, boom glove. And we wanted to have more automatic firearms, right? So let's put this one here to 100, let's say. And stealth goes plus 5. And this here goes to 105, I would argue. And... Yeah, I'm not sure if the other stuff is actually... So let's put this one here into stealth. And then here, he does have some stuff. So this is here the burst boy. Automatic weapons are still common in the waste, but true understanding of their maintenance and use will save your sorry hide. So he's got this here. The Praetorian, that's good. Shield bearer, it's probably not necessary. I think the swindler will be good. Oh, just let me... Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry. <coughs> so here... That's the butcher. First, you need, uh, need, need to learn burst boy. No debuff on point blank shots. Oh, yeah. Focus on target. Make every shot count. Scatter as lower times two with burst fire. Weapon knowledge in most areas of life. Success is about control. No strength requirement for automatic weapons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Hexogen is going to be our automatic weapons guy. There, right? So, aha, uh -huh, and now that's 150. Eh? Yeah. Was that. Was that 105 before? I hope so, right? I sure hope so. And then Julba got also a uh, level, I think. Right? Yeah, the others are all level 30 now, and we are hanging behind. But soon, just 1,700 more, okay. So I guess Julba could go with martial arts maybe, but on the other hand, I think we should uh, increase stealth first a bit more. Maybe to 90, because I think he's like really good. Let's put him to 185. And then maybe some more stealth, huh? Survival. Like this. Oh, and by the way, and Julba has two points as well. Very nice. So this here we already have, right? The bomb dog plus fifty percent protection from explosions and fire. I think that's really good. But the first thing is probably that <coughs> he shouldn't get uh, any fear anymore, right? Quality armor when you're wounded is when you need armor the most. When dog's health falls to half, damage reduction and resistance increases fifty percent. Oh. Now that's actually really good, but I think we need the nerves of steel first, right? On the other hand, he might, yeah, I think we need him to uh, survive. We just need him to survive. Battle reflexes. We have this one already, right? The dodge boy, right? Yeah. Okay, let me let me just quick save before I make a mistake here. Uh, like there, and do we have actually, do we, no, we need one more, okay, and the, the next one will be Oaken Skin for us, yeah. Fidel has zero. And then Julba. <coughs> yeah, so I think he's getting Nerves of Steel first. No, 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 he's getting the quality armor first, because if he's done, that's when he needs to survive, so. Let's do this. Ah, oh, we already have it, okay, sorry, eh? Ah, okay. No, okay, alright, that's fine. We already have this one, right? Yeah, so like this. Okay, good. Very nice indeed. So, last check, and then we hit the road again. This here. Yeah, that thing. Oh, and by the way, the bottles. We have three bottles. Yeah, three of all bottles. And this diesel. Let's put the diesel in here. 
Ja. Let's do it. I just hope that at some point there will be a person. So let's save. And then actually, oh, we don't need a power kick. Let's put this one there. Yeah, and we are dragging around 75 kilograms of gear just to be prepared for a lot of situations. I'm not sure if this is actually the smartest thing. But yeah, at least we are prepared, right? So, everything's fine there. Lots of stuff. And uh, let's actually... Let's get some of these here. Like two of these. And Fidel takes one. And maybe one sort of shotgun. And Julba can take can take this one. Yeah, they had more fawn. Because that's also like 300. The worth is like around 300. Okay, so yep, that's good. And now we hit the road again. <coughs> I don't feel like really like uh, using the gasoline. I think that's uh, certainly not uh, at this point. Not the smartest thing to do. So, that's the situation here. So, and I think we did the old scrapyard. Oh, yeah, and by the way, we need to get to Krasnostameni to talk to the guy, right? So, let's do that. Maybe we encounter someone. And then it's the guy, this guy with this chainsaw. Mm-hmm. Slave hunters. Well, those guys we like, as we especially like, right? There you go. Oh, they come from here. Okay. Oh. Guy. It's a rusty TT pistol, okay. Otherwise, were the others over there? Rusty TT pistol, quality knuckle duster. Anybody in here? No. <laughs> Are there only three? Oh no, there. Okay. Oh. Okay, there are more guys over here, okay. Rusty Rifle, Rusty Makarov Pistol, Rusty PPS, okay. Still, you guys. Switch weapon. And I want you. Uh, actually... Quality Knuckle does say, yeah, you, you attack this guy. Gotcha. Exogen, you also switch your weapon. Show target. This guy, the slave hunter. And Julba does the same. Show target. This one. And that way our guys are a bit further back. While we ourselves make a name shot <laughs> at this. At this guy. Yeah, into his eyes, right? Yeah, there we go. And. There, very nice. Very nice indeed. And then we are getting out of the way, running forward. There we go. What are you doing? You. What are you doing? What are you doing? You were supposed to go there. There, right? We are reloading. And we are running there. What is what is going on? Well, our guys are kind of idiotic, or what? What happens? The, then you be aggressive. There. <laughs> Julba, be aggressive. Attack this guy. Fidel, 
be aggressive. I mean, you are on your way already. So there. Let's go like here and I wanna shoot him in the eyes. Okay, well, that was just a normal shot right then, ending the turn. Come on, guys, you need to get away. What What are you doing? Do you want to be killed, Hexogen? What's going on? Hexogen. And then this guy. And then Julba, you can also attack this guy. Shoot him in the eyes again. There. Running there. Julba, very nice. Good dog. Okay, well, Hexogen wants to die. It looks like Hexogen wants to die. Oh, uh, well then. Then we can't help him. Then we just leave him to his destiny, his fate. So, then you... Yeah, oh, they are fine, right? Ah, oh, well, now we have to help over there. So let's run back. <coughs> Come on, Julba, you can do it alone. Yeah, there you go. Good, guys. Oh. Yeah, oh no, oh no, that's what you say. Idiot. Oh, wow, that was... <coughs> yeah, great. Actually, can we shoot this guy? Oh, yes, we can, but only 63. But yeah, let's do it. They are very good. I think that was his last and only chance. Oh, yeah. Well, you just ate some stuff. Good, his, his rifle is jamming. So that was really idiotic, Hexogen. I'm not sure what you are actually thinking and doing there. Shooting this guy in the eyes. Hmm. Let's shoot him another time in the eyes. Okay, we are out of luck there. Hexogen. Yeah, punch him in the face. It's fine. It's fine. Let's get here our knife knuckle duster. There you go. Bam. Exogen, this is like the stupidest thing that I've seen from you so far. I'm not sure what happened. There. I'm really not sure what happened there. So. Slave Hunter and Hexogen, what actually did you eat? All the Kaspara mid or what? I think so, huh? Yeah. This goes to Hexogen. These shots go to Fidel. And everything else Hexogen can carry. And then this Slave Hunter. This one goes to Hexogen. And everything else Fidel can carry. Good. Then let's get back over there. By the way, quick saving. <coughs> this guy has a super heavy metal shield. If 
Let's see, go to Hexogen and everything else. Beedle can take. It's not even over encumbered now, that's a good thing. And there's another, there are two other bodies over there, so. Oh, and we get some diesel, that's a good thing. Beedle, you carry everything. And the last slave hunter. I wonder if, you know, at some point there are no slave hunters left. That goes here. Hexogen gets that. Can get this one here and everything else. Fiddle takes. There we go, okay. Then, we know there is this particular building. There is something. Compact cassette. Yeah, nice. We take that because ropes are actually in short supply. But I think that we actually we have uh, we have already everything rope wise. That's actually a nice area here. Oh, here. Let's go here and then we can actually eat something. Oh, there's even a water pump. <coughs> well, the guys who are living here had actually, they had a good thing going, I guess. With, with all the, uh, with all their agricultural stuff. What's this? Why are you guys, you're, you guys are kind of, you have your own will now, huh? Where are they? There. Fidel gets two meat here. Roasting the meat. Very nice, right? Okay. And let's have a second portion. Very good. <coughs> got 77, oh, that's fine. It's got 58. So I'm not sure what's wrong with these guys. Drugs fatigue. Yeah, the Kasparameter. That was really super stupid. Anyway, so let's go here. Sorry, I just need to... Ah. Horrible. So, there we go. And then we go back here to Krasnosnameni. Maybe we are meeting a caravan or something. Well, or not, I guess. There we go. <coughs> and then... We're just going here. You don't have any more money. Or we just give you this stuff. 140 actually, here. Have a Rusty Makarov pistol. And we get some rubles for that. Great, and thank you. You can truly make good use of a Rusty Makarov, right? You've got 160. Got a Rusty TT pistol. And this one, two of them actually. Um, <coughs> 160. Hmm. Ah. How about two do it yourself helmets like this, right? There you go. Trading, thank you. Then we go into the city. Enter the drugstore. Gerta looks very much like our friend, like the ex-slave.
617 rubles. That's a good thing. So let's have... How about... There. This here. And... How about we take one of these? Rest in rubles. <coughs> and we have 57 left. And I think that's fine. Oh yeah, and here. Julba is wearing the headmophone, right? Or the helmophone. Yeah. Okay, let's let's trade it like this. Thank you. Let's just craft something very quickly. So we did have where's the where's it? Where's our sharpening stone? Open your eyes and you shall see. Where is it? Oh, I, th I think I put it away accidentally. Okay, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's a bit bad because now we can't sharpen the knives. Hmm. Or was I just blind? No, there is none here, right? No, 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 no. Oh, well. Okay, then. Going here. Looking into the trash, not that we really need it. Oh well, we don't have so many Agadam clocks actually. Exogen can take that. Ooh, Gerta says ooh. Well. So walking forward, let's firstly get to the people <coughs> who are actually bartering. Also, it's arguably it's not necessary anymore, right? For us to collect any stuff, like with so much uh, so much scrap metal around. So you have 22 rubles. Okay, then thank you and goodbye. We could barter with him. Ah, yeah, he's got one. That's 72 rubles. Hmm. Uh, that's actually not such a super good deal. Okay, no, that doesn't make much sense. Nope. Okay, then. I'm not doing that. Thank you, but no thanks. You go here. Okay, no. No, no, no. The lady who looks like from the Andes, she's got 200 rubles. That's a good thing. And I think we have something for her. How about a Rusty Makarov for you, huh? I think that's exactly what you need. There you go. And then over here, cheese guy. He's got also he's, he's also uh, he's got quite some good money these days. That's a good thing for us. Um, 247. Yeah, but otherwise he doesn't have anything that we could want. Let's sell him the thorny armor. That's good. That thing also weights a bit more. There you go. He can wear it himself if he wants so, uh, if he so is inclined. There you go. This lady, 130. I think we do have something for you, good, good ma'am. And that is actually... Um, yeah, well... Yeah, she can have she can have the rusty TT pistol, and then maybe we don't have so many cucumbers. Maybe we just get one more of these, huh? like this. There, I think that's fine. 
Although the cucumbers are really uh, heavy. So, alright. That's that. Saving, I think, the guy. Yeah, so that's the crest. Petra, so Ivan, what say you? Hello, my friend. Thank you again for restoring the city to its former glory. May the luck of the patron of gaming be with you. Yeah, glad to be of service, okay. <laughs> Can we actually... Can we play here? That's the informer. So, Peter. Uh, heard anything interesting? One time this local told me about a falling star. Okay, well, we already know about that thing. So, I think you could use a... Um, a rusty weapon, I think. How about the rusty rifle? Although it's a bit like this here, maybe. 484. Hmm. A bar. Yeah, how about a head more phone for you? You could actually use some more vodka. Like, let's like, like this here. There you go. Yeah. Well, let's have another vodka. Like this. Thank you. Oh, and actually we can play here. How did that work, by the way? So now that we are probably lucky, in front of us is the bourgeois slot machine, a true miracle of Krasnodar's there are many engineering genius. On the side of the slot machine here we see a leaflet with the rules, written with a chemical pencil. Glance over the rules. <coughs> Seven products in total, one star and three drums. Each matching pair multiplies the price by two. Three identical products in a row multiply your winnings by three. A combination with the star gives you additional 100 rubles. Okay. Let's see if something happens now that we've brought the shield here. Can onion beat root and that means that nothing. Okay, five more. Can moonshine can. Okay, five more rubles. Can onion onion. Great, this combination increases your price. 10. Ah, oh, let's do it again. Can onion condensed milk. Everything is gone now. And it's five more. Can moonshine moonshine. Push the lever again because we need to win back everything that we've lost so far, right? Condensed milk, apple moonshine. Oh my goodness. We are always losing. Can can beetroot. The lever again can crack a moonshine. Okay, we are always losing. And that's my dear children out there. That's the reason why you should never play on such a slot machine. There. Boom. It makes boom. Because they you're you're just always losing. You know? And it's not even fun. <coughs> Rather play a nice computer game or something. Oh by the way. Yeah, do you have money? Yes, 281. That's good. 281, that's excellent. How about a rusty rifle, my friend? There you go. Trading. That is excellent, isn't it? So we're not even looking at Vaya while we pass her. Juicy sweet apples, do you have money? Not enough, huh? <coughs> we don't have anything that is we don't have anything left that we would... Well, we do have this other shield, right? How much is the shield, by the way? One... It's 90. Oh, yeah, actually... So that's actually good. So he can have the shield. The shield is super heavy. Okay, that's good. All right, now... We are going to the guy. There. The machine like a hacksaw or something so here hello saving 
When he notices us, the moustached man in strange uniform gets into an aggressive stance. Why are you still here, my brother? What can old Commissar Vladilenos do to bring closer the moment of your glorious death in the name of the Communist Party? Uh, about that mission? I don't remember whether I told you or not, dear brother in arms, but Vladilenos nods at the statue of Lenin. We have eyes and ears everywhere. I knew that you did your sworn duty way before you got here, and I've already sent people to safeguard the monument. What you did is grander than the achievements of even the best Red Guards. Why, I'd say you're akin to the angels of Hammer and Sickle, our warrior elite. Wow. But we really want to die for the Communist Party, right? <laughs> yep. We will survive another day, unlike most history-loving societies. At least this is what I hope for, as I grant upon you my loyal blade, the Lenin's Wrath. Do not forget to feed it enemy blood, Ruki, and farewell. The moustached man hands us a bulky old chainsaw, and after giving a deep bow to the statue of Lenin, walks out of the city. Seems like his job in this part is finally done. Now that's a gift. Oh, we got the thing. Okay, very nice. Can we actually do something with him? Yeah, pickpocketing. Let's, let's try that. He's, we are just walking. Oh yeah, like this. Okay, well. Let's try it like so. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't work, huh? Okay, it doesn't work. But it's fine. <laughs> so a chainsaw that is a scary chainsaw art piece covered in quotes from the communist manifesto a dangerous weapon in close quarters combat wow plus five sequence 120 melee weapons uses gasoline oh no gasoline uh, but this is like 25% chance of causing panic now that is a thing, right? Weights 5 kilograms though. Melee weapon, so that's for hexogen. So I guess that's like the his true weapon, huh? Because he's also like so into communism. Martial arts 110, so the next level you could get it to 120. I think we are going to put this one into our weapons locker for a while first. But that's actually quite fun. And the thing that it's causing panic. <laughs> yeah, okay, pretty cool. Alright, so now we do have some other work to be done. But most of it is in Paragon now. The Mushroom Cool wants to analyze the pre-war civilian water filter. I'm supposed to look in a charming place called the Death Tunnel. Oh yeah, so actually I think we should go to the death tunnel. Ancient car crash. We need to talk about the criminal Chigorov with the loner named Rickard who lives near the site of an ancient car crash. <coughs> Map. The ancient car crash. Sure. Okay, but it's fine. So, walking here. So let's go to the hospital. Because there we know that we can sell some more stuff. Most likely, at least. We're ignoring the trash. But of course, we don't know what's in there. And that leaves us with a very bad feeling, you know, because we did not check. So here, what's going on? 94 rubles only. But we can get some more of this stuff. Uh, so, I guess. <coughs> ah, excuse me. I guess that uh, um, we are actually giving her maybe the steel. Oh no, it's so much, right? Like all this. 700 yeah well let's do that let's do that trading like this 
And this guy, I mean, it's not been so long ago that we've traded with these guys, right? 188, so maybe he could use a weapon. Oh, we already got rid of all the cheaper stuff, right? Yeah. How about a rabbit's paw? No, no, it's fine. We're not selling anything, and I don't. I we don't need so many med kits anyway. Uh, let's go to this guy. Our addicted friend. Well, with him the situation is not much better, but at least he has this here. That's two hundred sixty roughly. Hmm, yeah. It's 400. One of these. It's 500. Yeah, well, actually, I just would like this then. So there. So he doesn't need to give us. Oh well, maybe this here. There. Run one ruble to so like this. Trade. Nice, got a leather armor. Like for role-playing games or something. <coughs> so all right. So I think we are done here in the city. I hope that we are like finding a traveling merchant or something. Mm, I mean, we could actually, we could give something to this guy, right? We knock on the help the children of the North kiosk. Kiosk. So I really feel that uh, these guys, but maybe something happens uh, if we give them something. So let's actually let's do it. Like, the price is horrible, but let's give them everything that we brought, like here. Let's do that, just this once. 820 rubles, and by the way, the guy has some money at least, and that's the good thing. So, trade. We knock on the help, the children of the North Kiosk counter, and it opens up slightly. Of the children of the North Charity Booth, what you want? <laughs> hey, I'm not. I'm not sure we, uh, whether I have something useful. You take firearms as well. Yeah, firearms as well. <laughs> we take everything that or might be be useful to them, poor babies up north. Yeah, well. Interesting. How does spare weaponry help the situation, the staff, violent reasons of the world? Good question. One fella asked it once, and you know what happened? He was found dead the very next day in the town moat. The militia said he fell there while drunk, but you know what's puzzling? He wasn't even a drinking man. Okay, well, that's too much lo knowledge brings much sorrow, right? <laughs> but I really need to get going. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> but at least we got 800 bucks out of this, 800 rubles. And actually, his prices are not way worse than with this guy here. Does he have anything? Oh. Oh. A Soviet Special Forces helmet designed in the early 1980s. So this is, like, way better. Light but solid quickly replaced the clunky old metal helmets. Oh. And a cuirass, a piece of armor that covers the torso front and back. This is the work of modern armorers. That sounds like... Yeah, it's minus one dexterity, so it's like <coughs> better, um, a way better metal armor, I guess. I mean, we have 11,000 for this one here, uh, but I feel that we shouldn't do that, so let's rather keep the money. Maybe we find something way better. So. Let's get out of here. 
Abraham doesn't have to sell anything. He's a rich man now. Thanks to us, like selling selling his newspaper articles for hundreds of rubles. So let's say hi to our friend, the ex-slave. There she is. Hey, Gul Chatai, how you doing? The dark-haired ex-slave looks at us with gratitude. She walks around the tavern. Apparently, she helps to run it. Hello. Well, then, how do you like Crescent so many? It's changed so much. Yeah, okay, well, we have to go. All right, then. Have a good day. I know that, I guess, uh, the, the tavern's... Uh, Sale pro like the sales should uh, improve significantly, I guess, right? Could we actually barter with the soldier here? No, we can't. Okay, no, thank you. I was just passing by to be honest, so bye bye. You see, okay, good. All right, <laughs> but we ended that quest, that's a good thing, and we came out on top with a car and a pretty nice chainsaw. So that's certainly something, right? So we are going over here now, the death tunnel. We need to go... Oh yeah, we need to go all around. Well then, guys, I think it's even time to go to Paragon then. We're going to Paragon. Friendly junk scavengers, that's fine. <laughs> Hello friends, where are you there? Oh, we don't have any more loot with us, on the other hand. So what do they have? Okay, only some... Like this. Hexogen has one metal or cast iron shield. And he also... Yeah. So actually... Well, actually, maybe we should actually go back to Red Fighter again and uh, bring the very heavy chainsaw into our wardrobe and then we can also get some more merchandise. Yeah, I think that's better. Now we have... we carry around some stuff. So we don't need this stuff. Close. Continue. Thank you. We don't need anything here. Is there anything here? No, okay. No, okay, nothing. Alright. That's fine. So let's let's actually go back. And actually this is where we can end this episode, I think. Uh, I'm just going to go back to Red Fighter put the stuff back and then I'm just walking here oh well I mean we don't know if there's something happening right oh and another attack by gang of slave hunters okay <coughs> let's have it let's have it them so I hope hexogen isn't that stupid any uh, again I'm telling you we are not alone Putting him in the eye. Okay. That guy has a PPS. Oh, it is even... It is a good PPS. Oh my goodness. These guys... Have good stuff. And this guy has an SKS. Now things are actually getting dangerous there. Putting him in the eye. Another one. Okay. Uh... Uh, that's actually uh, things are yeah there two crits on jewel bar okay exogen you switch your weapon you're going to be aggressive and you're go going to shoot at this guy Fidel switch your weapon and you need to shoot 
this guy as well. And Julba, you are also aggressive. And you attack that guy as well. So I wonder if we can do anything like here with the would-be slave. Like there. Shoot this guy in the eyes. They are good. They are very good. That guy was dangerous. <coughs> and then we are going for the S uh, SKS guy. Now he's actually a bit in the way. So let's let's run here. And there, I hope they are not killing Hexogen now. But maybe they are actually yeah. Oh, 25 crit on Juba. Oh my goodness. Okay then. Yeah, very nice. Very nice spread there. Oh, the guy is... Oh, the guy is smart, huh? But I guess he felt that... Uh, that I wanted to go for him. Oh yeah, very good. They yeah, are shooting in the eyes. Okay. Oh, things are getting bad. Reloading and Slave Hunter. It's got a new PP TP mis uh, pistol and the axe. Yeah. So let's shoot this guy because he's also at full health. Ah, but his eyes. Oh yeah, very good, Joel Bar. Good boy. Uh oh, Drillba has only 21 points left. There. Oh, just one. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Reloading. Come on. In the eyes. There, very good. Come on, Drillba. Don't let them kill you. No. No, Julba! Oh no! No, Julba! Can we can we revive you? No, we can't, right? Oh, the poor doggy. The poor doggy. That is so sad. <coughs> boom! It uh, it makes boom. Well then, we need to go back. Quick load. Yeah. And by the way, so let's actually let's rest for a moment, cause our guys. Why? Why don't we have this one here? Why can't we use the meat the others have? There. Let's roast some meat. And let's have another one. Oh, it's very idyllic here. Very nice spot. Even with butterflies. Very nice. So we are going back to Red Viter. That's That was sad because there was a lot of good loot there with these guys. Yeah. I probably should have told Julba to stay away. Or not not just properly oh slave traders okay or slave hunters there <coughs> they come again and it appears they are actually like oh they are around a red fighter huh oh the guy has a scorpion that's a new weapon pps 43 oh, 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 oh. claw knuckle duster claw knuckle duster sks hunting rifle modified okay Oh, and here these two. Oh. An old lady and 
her son possibly or her lover who knows um so Fidel yeah actually you hexogen you are aggressive you can use your boom glove Do that Fidel you switch your weapon you are aggressive and you go for this guy and Julbar you need to be aggressive as well and you need to attack this guy too we are shooting at this guy with the PPS cause he's dangerous for our group okay yeah so Fidel shoot that guy loading why was your weapon not loaded yeah wow very nice okay I think the scorpion is possibly oh goodness Who's... everybody's shooting so I guess the scorpion is actually the worst thing so let's shoot this guy in the eyes then oh and the, by the way uh, that guy is even the worst one with the outfit oh yeah very nice you got him reloading oh yeah nice well done Julba you just start eating him oh what was that he threw a grenade at us okay <clears throat> with the PPS He's got a hunting rifle, the modified hunting rifle and the SKS, these guys. <coughs> okay then, so Julba, you attack that one. <coughs> Exogen, you also. And I feel it might be time. Watch, why do we have only 23 hit points left? Okay, we need to go in here. Uh, I think it's time to use the... Where is it? This here. The stimulant, but where's the normal stimulant? There. Use. There, like this. actually do something here now as yes, we can so let's put the, the, the round here <coughs> nine millimeter rounds like there yeah and actually can take the Kaspara mid. There. Oh my goodness, yeah. He got very unlucky. 50% chance twice and now it's got minus two strength. But yeah, better than dying, I guess. Let's hope there, there's, there are no other side effects. Okay, then so like this and then we shoot this guy in the eyes. Because... Yep, they are very good. He might take out his other weapon. Oh wow, 135 crit. Very nice. So 
the exogen, it's time to switch weapons. In Hexogen, you attack that guy. Fidel, you also attack that guy. Where are, can we actually... Oh no, it's just water. Okay, and then Julba. You're also going for that guy. We're shooting him in the eyes. Very good. Crit and his eyes are done. We shoot him once more. Good. Good, bad, I'm the guy with the gun. Shoot him in the eyes. There, come on. There, very good. Crit. Yeah. You guys are kind of in the way now. So like here, have it in the eyes. Alright. There, good. Good boy, Jolba. Good boy. Alright. Very nice indeed. So here, you guys. Are you okay? You're a real hero. Hello. I hate slavers. Where does such scum even come from? Okay, guys. Well, you are free to go. Oh, yeah. This guy even had another... That's a rusty one. Keep this. You take all that. Oh, but by, by, by the way, there was a modified one, right? Fidel, the modified. Hunting rifle modified. This rifle has seen a lot of repairs in its life. You can't make out the manufacturer, but at least it's serviceable. A handmade collimator side gives this rifle a bit more accuracy in its critical situations. 713 Accuracy penalty 20% in close range Critical chances plus 2% Okay, oh that's it 453 AP cost is also 453 So the only difference is that this thing here Has 2% more crit chance But it's fine Oh yeah, it has the collimator up here, right But oh, that's cool That is cool With us, right Checking that guy. <coughs> the SKS. Yeah, rifles and shotguns. This one goes to Hexogen and you can take everything else. That's life under such a peaceful situation here, right? Goes to Exogen, this one goes to us. Beagle. Take everything. That was a nice battle. Tough. Tough enough. And interestingly, these guys come with diesel. Often, at least. Oh, yeah, here, this one. A Czechoslovakian submachine gun created in 1961 for armored infantry personnel. And other specially selected units of the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic Army. Okay. That goes to Exogen. And this one. So these guys do have some good stuff. Oh, and you can't carry anymore already. Okay. But Fid oh, Fidel is also over encumbered already. And well, then we take the rest. Okay. So but that's fine. So that was that was like good loot, and we we did a good deed as well. Pretty good deed. <coughs> Let's check out which one is actually better. So the scorpion has eight to twelve. This one has seven to fourteen R. Okay. It shoots nine millimeter. 344 four, and this one is 563 AP cost. Oh, okay. So with this one we could <coughs> we could shoot a lot. Yeah. So I think the scorpion is worse. 
especially in times when there is not uh, such a good supply with ammo. And I'm not sure, maybe we already have one of those, I'm not sure. But it's fine, that is like very nice and I'm glad that we could help these two would-be slaves. And there was nothing else here, right? No one has been forgotten. Slaves, you guys can come to Red Fighter if you want. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually that's a good thing that we are here. And maybe there is a trader present, right? No, there isn't. Very sad. I think they are usually here, right? Well... Okay then, so let's go here. Do we have a scorpion? Because I think I've, I've we saw some, uh, we saw one, right? No, we don't. Okay, well that's pretty nice. So here, Linen's wrath goes there as well. Oh, we don't even have a PPS in spare. I'm just noticing, huh? Okay, well, that's actually nice. So, oh, there we go. There we go, then. Claw Knuckle Duster. We have one, right? Or do we? Yeah, there's one, okay. So then this one goes into the... Uh, and put this one here. It goes into our crafting. So the SKS, I wanted to check something, like with the hunting rifle. Is it maybe better for us? It's 11 to 17. It is better. Mid-range. This is also mid-range, but it's, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I'm using the uh, hunting rifle because it uses a different ammo with 5.45, that's the reason. And that's why why we keep continuing. Uh, we keep uh, using it. That's the thing. <coughs> yeah. We are keeping the same situation now. So, but the SKS goes here. Yeah, let's have another hunting rifle there. This goes there. Do we actually have the... Hockey helmet in here? No, we don't. So this one also goes into our storage. Yeah, let's have one more claw knuckle duster here. We have two. And yeah, let's have two do-it-yourself helmets. Maybe, maybe let's have another leather armor here. Who knows, maybe at some point there's a thing like, hey, you need to... Uh, outfit so and so many soldiers and then we already have a certain amount of stuff okay well these guys didn't have too much stuff right <laughs> In terms of uh, eating, oh well, actually they had a lot of cheese. Okay, cucumbers, the beetroot, coffee, tea. Yeah, it's actually fine. Biscuits, canned meat. We always want to carry around two of them. The onion. All right. So and then, actually, let's craft something. Uh, we need. I think we need some more. Where are they? We need a few more bowls there. Okay. Okay. We need tin. You have one. There. 
Okay, good. So there we go. That's fine. Let's put some stuff in here. Yeah, we have so much stuff now. Oh, and by the way, <coughs> the... Uh, Where is it? There. Sharpening stone. And where are the knives here? Didn't we have several of them? Several more? In the trunk, maybe. <coughs> oh, no, okay, no, I already did it, okay. It's fine. Hmm. Beetle. I know. Yeah, put this one here. And everything else goes into the crafting. There we go. So much stuff. So we are still very far away from... Uh... Oh, there are the knives. <coughs> I knew there were knives. There and there. That stuff. I'm not even sure if we need to uh, collect anything anymore from now on. I'm not sure. What do you think? Can we just save the time and not do that? I'm really not sure. So. Uh, this goes there and this also. Yeah. Oh, and sorry, there are batteries. <laughs> yeah. Because this is like, it feels like it's becoming a packaging and, uh, you know, carrying stuff around thing. And it shouldn't be that. So here. Let's have one less bottle. There. Batteries go here. The diesel. How much diesel do we have? We have 18 gasoline and 19 diesel. Okay. Quality knuckle duster. Yeah. Yeah. And then the vodka. Yeah, that, uh, that vodka we actually traded for, right? There we go. Okay. Yeah, we don't need so much Kaspara meat. Eight per person are actually enough. There. Yeah. Nine in this case. <coughs> Good. Put the vodka in here. Are we are we over encumbered? No, we aren't. Eh, there's the vodka here. There we go. And then we are actually done. Only the sharpening of the knives is the thing. Getting this one on there. 
putting the sharpening stones away. Oh, and there was the clock, of course, so that one we also don't need. So much stuff. How much uh, is the weight of the uh, anti-poison thingy here? Oh, it's not so much. Okay, we don't need to go back for that. All right then. So we are done here. Um, we have two leather breastplates. He's got another one, and let's have two metal breastplates. Or maybe one rusty nagant. So, and then we are actually going for uh, Paragon. It's time to go to Paragon. But we do that on foot as well. On the other hand, it might be prudent <coughs> to go uh, there by car. <coughs> but I feel we should, firstly, we should uh, do this on foot and do a recon mission, basically. Ambush by bandits, all right. Ay, 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 okay. So here we go. Sharpened knife, pry bar, rusty nagant. Rusty, what's that? Rusty M712. Ah, okay, it's the Mauser pistol, okay. This guy has a pipe rifle, okay. So this guy is this just scum. Oh, and I should have repaired the stuff, right? No. Are we here? Okay. So let's shoot the guy in the eyes. We have one shot. There. And then we reload, because we were too stupid to do so before. Right. Switching weapons, you also switch your weapons. Be aggressive. Fidel, you're also aggressive. Julba, be aggressive. Find your own target, and it's fine. Ending the turn. Yeah, shooting. Ah, oh, it was again on, on the normal. Ah, oh, well. Oh, yeah, nice. Put him on the ground. Very nice indeed. Wow. Uh, that is a thing. These two guys have metal armors. Okay him in the eyes. There, yeah, very nice indeed. And then this guy we shoot with the bow. Crossbow, there we go. We go here. And the other guys, they just mess them up. There you go. He's eating Kasparamid, I guess. They yeah, are very nice. <laughs> very nice indeed. So where is he? Oh, he ran away. All right. And then there's the other guy. He's got the pipe rifle. <laughs> Going here. He's out of range, of course. So we go here. Running after him. Yep. Very good, guys. Did he hit us? No. <clears throat> Let's go like this. Ah, he's behind the tree, okay. Smart guy. Let's go here. Running around. By the way, it might 
be prudent to put on a helmet. Yeah, well, and actually, I, it might be a thing that we should uh, actually buy this really good helmet. Because we have the money, like this one for 8,000 rubles, the good one. I also guess uh, it is rather rare to get it. So, shooting him in the head, in the eyes. The helmet looks actually pretty new, but I guess it's uh, it's a rusty one. Loading. That was not the, the best shot there in the eyes. That was never not very smart of exogen. Yeah, super. <laughs> Basically, clutches at his bloodied face. Go here. Aimed for the eyes and yep, they are very good. Yeah, Julba, mess him up. Money there. They are very nice. They are very good. Okay, guys. Well, we got some some good experience out of this. Three hundred. Exogen, another rusty helmet. Yeah, we probably we shouldn't have uh, brought so many. Uh, oh, a homemade grenade. And this here. That goes to Fidel. There. Oh, nice, another bandana and the steel breastplate, yeah. Fiddle can take everything. Yeah, and that's really a lot of stuff. Take everything. Good, okay. So I'm not sure, like, if the game is thinking that we are grinding these battles a lot um, to get the money to buy the better stuff or if we are actually uh, finding it let's see two meats meat pieces roasting the meat very nice that is really good after a long day of fighting 75, 61, yeah. Okay, then. I think, but I think that's enough, actually. On the other hand, how much did Juba have there? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> let's, let's eat another one. One more. We are running a little bit out of meat, I feel. Let's meat cook. And by the way, <clears throat> got 100 for melee weapons, right? I feel that it would be actually time. The axe may be better than the knife. Now, I think the knife has the charm that it's uh, using only 3 AP, right? So you can attack twice with it. That was the reason. And the axe is also 3 4. Oh, 917. Oh, yeah. And this 1020, okay, so that's the reason we are using the sharpened knife, actually, okay. All right. Saving, getting out of here. There's nothing else here right now. Okay, good. Well, we can't carry much more, but we are going forward now. I even feel that uh, we might even go... <coughs> yeah, let's go to the, the abandoned factory, actually. <coughs> Scavengers, that's good. We can lose at least a little bit of stuff. These guys. Hey there, guys. Very good. How's your day? Uh, 
they don't have anything that's really interesting but they could take the Nagant for this year there and like this huh five more yeah they can have it so all right guys good trading is there someone here no ah there's <laughs> there's a building or oh, 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 oh. there's something here guys I didn't want to go down here actually without uh, actually reloading let's use the normal bolts then Beetle, are you okay? Yes, you are. Hexogen, you have reloaded your weapon as well. That's good. And this one here, the boom glove. Okay. Okay, well, actually, there's nothing really here. Okay. can get back oh we are poisoned now well that's just typical isn't it okay well we can drink some water let's drink this one but you know like curi curiosity is what killed the cat right So there we go. <clears throat> Let's go to the abandoned factory. Maybe this uh, this trader with the backpack is there. Oh yeah, is that the guy? Oh yeah, we, we are lucky. Okay, very good. You are not trading, okay. The, what? Ah, no, this is the guy. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hitting escape. Peter Budin. So here. Luchafa. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's trade. Uh, you kind of don't have any money, how come? But we take your ammo. Oh, come on. The waste paper. And we have 10 of those, so actually it's not useful to, to trade anything with him. How come he doesn't have any weapons? Uh, any any money? Hmm. That is a bit disappointing. How about... Yeah, here's this one. There you go. Like this, huh? <coughs> then this guy. Peter Bowen. Do you have anything? No, you don't. Well, you do have some meat. But I think... Well, I mean, we could give you something for the meat, right? We have not encountered too much meat lately. Like for the helmet, maybe, and the pipe? Or only the pipe? Or like, actually, let's take everything. 
And then we give him a few rubles. There you go. And this here goes here. By the way, do we have some more rubles here? Yes, we do. 11,000. Good. I think we should leave. Okay then, so and the other guys, they don't trade, right? This guy here, he was the nicer one. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Okay, well then. And these guys here. The nice couple. And well, we could, we could take Dunia around, right? But I don't feel, I don't feel that we should do that. Saka. Dunya, are you actually trading anything these days? No, you don't. The knit cap. Okay. Or did we actually make out with her? No, it's like, look, I want to have a word with you. Okay, that's fine. Who are you again? Do you barter? No, I don't have anything. Well then, so I think these guys are not doing so well. So let's get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Well, and it has been a while that we've been to Utrad Moye, right? So let's go there. I mean, they can actually most likely uh, use some merchandise, right? There you go. Going here. Yeah. Eh, why did we come from this side? Well then, anyway. Hello! The wizard minister, yeah, we already talked with that guy, right? Oh yeah, very good. He's got 373 rubles. Um, so let's give him one metal plate. 697 together with this here no okay no it's not enough okay then um how about a leather armor um, well then there and how about some vodka Yeah. And the Kaspara mid. There, yeah, like, like that, huh? Ideal trade. Money goes to the boss. 12,000 rubles now. Okay, so have a nice day, buddy. And then we've got Katya, as always. The numbers person, okay. Yep, have a nice day, Katya. So then, and now we are here <coughs> with the guy, Trader Yashin. What do you have? 282 rubles only. That's not so good. Oh, what's that? A Nagan, a modified Nagan, a legendary revolver. The silent of this revolver was modified for a real wasteland gunslinger. I think we should get this one. And also all his ammo. Oh, and the gasoline. So let's get this one. Yeah. And all the money. <coughs> That's 972. So which means we can definitely give him one metal plate. And this one. This this 
Just getting rid of the stuff. Oh yeah, and the sharpened knife. And rather the helmet because that's more heavy. Uh, that's heavier. Okay, then, but that looks good. And how about, well, we don't have so many alarm clocks, right? So let's have the alarm clock. And I guess that's fine. And we are not trading in scrap metal now. However, it's just one, right? Yeah. Okay, now we are five. Yeah, let's do it like this. Great. Very nice indeed. We got rid of one metal armor. That's a good thing. So here we go. Don't you want... Jan, don't you want to wear a metal armor? Got three shots for 15. Do we have anything for you? That's worth like 15. The sheath is worth 15. Okay, well, <clears throat> I guess we are just giving him some money. So then. Done. Exogen gets them. Uh, the ammo. There you go. There you go, okay. So. By the way, had I known that, uh, that the car, that we have the car, we could have taken the car here and uh, just loaded everything from our stash. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. So, let's go here. So now we are going over there to Paragon. Because it's on the way. We've got a lot of merchandise, so that's good. And before we are out there, we've been ambushed by the members of some murderous doomsday cult. If we won't do anything, they will surely attack us here. We're defending ourselves, of course, right? Oh, they shot me. Rusty Makarov pistol, rusty weighted glove. Okay. This guy's a rusty GT pistol and a pry bar. Okay then, so you, Hexogen. Take this guy. And you also take this guy. And Julba. Also, and then he's possibly the most dangerous one. Let's go here, aiming for the eyes, and okay, there, Julba, good boy. Hmm. It's a crazy woman. It feels like kind of... She's got a weighted glove. Feels like a waste to shoot to... So... Let's actually shoot the guy in the eyes. Like with this one. Oh, come on. Falling back a bit. Come on, guys, you can mess this one up. Yup. Smash him. There, very nice. Oh. Right on the chin, huh? Oh, she's really good. She attacked him three times. Okay, well. Oh, and now, well. I guess we use this one now. There. Shooting him in the eyes. Yeah, good. Oh wow, nice. Yeah, good. TT pistol. Yeah. <coughs> Another shot in the eyes, and well, we are not 
we're not lucky to get the crit. I think he just he just used uh oh yeah he uses the stimulant, okay. Eyes. Hmm. We almost blinded him, but only almost. Oh yeah, wow, that was a nice one. And now we are taking our... Oh, we are rather hungry actually, by the way. Uh, now where's our... Knuckle knife. Going there. Doggy comes over. Yeah, uh, well. In here. Aim to tag in the eyes and 18, okay. Going out of the way for the others. There, good boy. Oh, and we got a level. Very nice. 257. Cultist. This one we keep. Fidel can take the rest. Very nice A level. Cultist. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff. Here, this one. Ammo. <coughs> Hexogen takes everything. Cultists. They have, they have uh, <coughs> the lo the wrong uh, form of ammunition with them. That's the weighted glove. Okay. He will take that stuff. It's cultist. Nice. People can take that as well. Good. All right. Let's have some tasty meat. Nice. See twice. So full health. H D five. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. And oh yeah, sorry. And uh, yeah, we are okay with the hunger. So level up. Forty three. Yeah. This year, oh, yeah, we can do something now. We can get the oaken skin, and that we do resist damage and protection from damage. So, it should be even harder to kill us now. And I believe, uh, we might even want to increase our stuff lock picking. Hmm, yeah. The rifles. Uh, let us, we've got 43 points. Let's put 10 into rifles. And 5 into martial arts. <coughs> and uh, we, the rest we keep. Who knows what's happening, but I think it's fine. So, there we go. And then, we are close to Paragon. But I think this is the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. There's Paragon. What happens next, we will see in the next episode. If you have any thoughts, any tips and tricks or anything, please do share them in the comment section. You know that the community and I are always grateful to do uh, to receive anything, any comments, and um, yeah, let's continue next time. I would appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you never ever miss an episode again. So next time, bye bye.